Hey guys, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Now whilst I'm going through this uh, G-Made Sawback build series, I uh, had a few options straight off that bat before I built the whole thing and then tear it down and retrofit some of the stuff. So one of them was right here. It's a basic chassis mounted steering servo kit um, with the stock G-Made kit. You get it up here on the, sh on the actual front axle. Here's the two uh, stock mounting holes that come with it, and it, it operates there. Nothing wrong with it, you can use it, but uh, what I wanted to go with, something a bit higher off the uh, off the ground, away from the uh, water and, and uh, whatnot, and mount it up here on the actual chassis. And also I've got the Zero Ackerman turnbuckles already installed, which gives you Zero Ackerman, zero Ackerman sorry, and much better uh, and tighter steering radius. So, obviously I'm not going to put it there, so where does it go? Well right here pretty much this beautifully machined plate kind of sits in between there and it uh yeah your servo of choice just goes down in between here like in this diagram sits in there nicely so let's get cracking the uh Savox waterproof servo it's very trusted around the industry a lot of people use it obviously it's not the best but it's a great all-rounder and it's waterproof which is always good so basically yep servo just goes in there pretty simple and all the uh, mounting gear are included so what we need to do and the allen key which is good or hex head which is always good uh, much better nice and strong they're all included in the kit so what we'll do we'll put these bad boys in and uh, show how it looks and there she is the good thing about it here, it's already pre-threaded, so you don't need any uh, nuts on the other side, so happy days. So everything's nice and locked down, don't need to go crazy and stress the plastic here, but beautifully done, and uh, yeah, can't go wrong with the quality of uh, parts. So next step is, you can always put the horn on now if you like, but I might leave that to the next video, but uh Actually attaching it to the left and right chassis rails. Okay guys, and that's how it looks once you put it all up together. Get a nice uh, aluminium horn there, or whatever horn you like. And there we go. Let me just get the camera to focus. There we go, so nice and clean setup. Not much can go wrong, just make sure everything's tight. Steering's uh, servo's all centered and you're ready to go. So that was a quick video on how to install the uh, chassis mounted servo. Hope you guys like it. See you in the next video. Thanks guys.